Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Nur Syahira Binti Muhammad Sahari. My metric number is CI190007 and I am from group 17. Okay, so um, I will present uh, for module admin. But first, uh, I will uh, present for login page, our login page. So as you can see here, this is our login page. Okay, so um, if we enter uh, any wrong password or ID number, so the error message will show up. Okay, so okay, let's say we try admin and then the password. Oh, okay, so this is um, the other one, which is we uh, if we do not uh, select any role or any account, so uh, we can't log in. Okay, so okay, we choose admin and then log in. So the error message uh, will show up like this, which is invalid account ID or password. Okay, so we choose admin, admin and then Okay, so this is our um, dashboard for admin module. Okay. Okay, first we will go to the admin account, which is we will we'll, uh, register account for admin. Okay. So, this is uh, the existing uh, account. So, okay. Um, admin uh, can add new admin or update or... Uh, she also can uh, delete the admin. Okay, so let me try add. Okay, sample. Uh, zero, two. So for the name is um, name. Sorry. U.S. Shibura. Okay, so add. So, here the uh, admin that uh, we have had, uh, we have add, okay. So, um, let's say um, we want to put another admin, 0, 0, uh, 2, 2, 8, okay. So, we put as name, okay. So, we add. And so, yeah, here we go. So this is for um, admin, which is uh, can add uh, the new admin and also can delete actually. Okay. So uh, we go for the, um, we go, we will uh, look up first. And then we try to um, log in uh, using the new account okay so um initially when admin register uh, the new admin new or or new user the password will automatically be the same as the id so the id is 00242 so automatically the password is also the same one okay so we will log in but um the uh, this will pop up which is um the system will force the user to change the password into the new password. So, we just change into the new password, which is 1. Okay. So, we need to log in back. Okay. So, the zero to go to, and then the password is 1. Okay. So, get in, and then. Okay. So, uh, this is. Um, the dashboard for admin Shahira. Okay, so um, we go to uh, register. Uh, I'm as admin. I will try to register student. Okay, Re register student. Okay, so as as a usual, we can uh, add, update, and delete the the student. So we try. This is the existing one. Okay, we try to add new new. New student, which is one nine seven five. Try Shafira. Okay, the email is auto assign, so we just enter and 
this is this is the new uh, student okay we try to add another one ci seven six sorry So we have two uh, new students, okay, Safia and Humaira. Okay, so uh, let's say we update the new, uh, the the one. Okay, we update the Safia, and then we we can um we can uh, change the ID or we can change the name. So we put as Safia. You see, and it's already. Okay. Okay, and then uh, we also can delete, can delete the the existing the existing one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we delete. Yeah. So we can see that Safia Swami is uh okay delete Okay. Next. Mm, we will go to we try to uh, register lecturer okay so this is the existing one we try to add lecturer mm -hmm. name is mm, Okay, so this is the new one, the new lecturer that we have uh, added. Okay, we try to add another one, and then the name is um, okay. Same goes here. We can update the name or uh, the ID. Okay, we try to update here. Okay, we try to update this one. Mm -hmm. Try to update which um, save change and then come uh, like this. It, it's already updated, okay? Okay, so next, next, uh, we will try to uh, register student and eh, no subject we try to register subject okay this is the already mm, added so we can try to mm, add the new one okay uh, such as vic 30602 mm, algebra okay we try so we add mm, so here we add the, the new one subject. Okay, we try to add another one. Okay. Mm. Okay. We also can update. As you can see, this is HCI, the new one. Okay, so we we can update the name or or the ID. So let's say we update this one, algebra. Yeah. So this is the, the updated one. Okay. Okay, and then um the we go to the workload. Okay, workload. Okay, this is workload. Okay, workload. Um, we try to assign uh one lecturer. Okay. Okay, we choose lecturer. Um, okay, we choose Rabiatu. Okay, Rabiatu, and then the subject. We choose a subject. We can uh, put as uh, database. Okay. 
okay so we add here and also can choose the red tool uh, CI maybe okay okay so uh, we use a, a drop down list this is drop down list uh, for the lecture and also for the subject okay yeah, and then the last one try to um, delete delete uh, for the uh, at me, uh, for the lecture or student or subject that have been um, that have been do uh, do or register subject okay Okay, try lecturer for the lecturer. Okay, this is example here. This is uh, Sapi Mustafa. Uh, he had uh, already um, assigned work, I think. Okay, yeah. Already assigned for the workload. Okay, Sapi Mustafa. So, okay, we go to him. We can, um, we can try to um, okay. Yeah, this is will appear because um, the uh, lecturer have assigned to a certain subject or um, so the lecturer profile cannot be deleted. Okay, same goes to uh, Rebetu. So we try to delete. It will appear the error message. Okay, so next uh, we will go to uh, admin. Okay, uh, let's say okay this uh I'm uh, as Shandira right? So okay, we will try to try to log out. Okay, try to log out. Log out, and I will try to. Um, log in using another account. So we go to admin account, and uh, because Shahira has uh, manipulated some information, uh, so it, uh, she will not be deleted. We try. Yeah, the uh, system will automatically show the error message because. She already um, manipulate some information. Okay, so okay, let's go for the student. Okay, okay um, as you can see, student here. Okay, there are some of them that we have assigned for uh, upper uh, some subject or they already register some subject, okay, so they cannot be deleted. Example as Saramaraman. Then we try to delete. Okay, it cannot be deleted because um, the student have registered under certain subject. Okay, so the profile cannot, student profile cannot be deleted, and it will uh, show error message. Okay, for the next, uh, for the subject, subject. Okay, okay. Um, so, uh, if the subject ha already have owner or like someone had uh, registered it, so the uh, the subject cannot be deleted. For example, we will choose database. Okay, we delete. So, cannot. Okay. Um, um, we can see at window, which is on Rabia 2, we have assigned it. Uh, for the HCI, so we go to subject and we try to delete HCI. Cannot be deleted because it's already assigned to to a lecturer. Okay. Okay. So for the workload, if the lecturer uh, has created quiz for the subject, so automatically the workload cannot be deleted. Okay. So, okay, example, we choose uh, Sabi Mustafa because we have uh, already created quiz for Sa uh, Sabi Mustafa. So, we try to delete. Okay, so the error message will pop up like this, which is 
that's mean that uh, Sabi Musafa have uh, maybe uh, at some quiz or let, uh, some assignment or lab. Okay, so we try to delete this one. Okay, cannot be deleted because it's already uh, maybe a student have uh, at um, uh, the subject or um, maybe the uh, Rabia tool have already make um, um, some quiz or assignment for the subject. So that's all for my part which is for um, module admin. So thank you. Hello, my name is Basiman and today I will be presenting on the lecture module. Now first we need to log in into the lecture module using the ID and also the password. Now next, this is the index um, or the dashboard for the lecture module. In it, it displays all of the list of the lecturers or the, or the subjects the lecturer has been registered from admin module. Here you can see Dr. Sati Mustafa is registered into object oriented programming, database, software design and also visual programming. And this is all the cards. So inside of the cards there are the information regarding the each of the registered subjects. So the first one is assignment or tutorial. Next is objective quiz. Next is true false quiz. Same goes to all of the other cards layout. And then here we can view the result or create or view the assignment. Next, we can also view the result for objective quiz and also create or view the objective quiz. Next, we can view the result or create or view the true false quiz. So first, we will proceed to the assignment or tutorial where we will create a new assignment. So here we have visual programming assignment so we create so might I add this is uh, a validation form okay when the lecturer doesn't uh, fill in anything but if he or she presses upload it will uh, prompt the lecturer to write or fill in, fill in the form so for example I will add a, an exercise PDF and also the name will be tutorial uh, or maybe assignment one. Okay, now let's upload. And here you see we have the number, the title, the exercise, and modified by okay, in this case it's me, and then modified date, which is the current time, and also the size. Next, we have the actions whether uh, the lecture wants to delete or open or download so first we can maybe search for assignment 1 this is the search function and then we will open so this is the content of the assignment 1 next we will delete alright oh but before that Assignment 1, I will forgot to demonstrate uh, demonstrate the, uh, the download function. So here you can see, as you can see, it's been downloaded and you can view. Next, uh, the delete function uses the unlink um, default function from PHP which uh, unlinks the file or deletes the file from the path and also deletes the record or row in the uh, database itself so let's delete okay now might I add um, when the when the student un has answered for example has answered a specific um, assignment or has uploaded their submission the lecturer cannot delete uh, for example I will demonstrate that with the student so this is my account. Oops, but before that, I will log in and 
will create new assignment in visual programming and also maybe uh, add an assignment one and then choose a file so example exact pdf and i'll upload that okay now next i will log out and i will log in to the student which is my account oops it's invalid sorry all right so we will register visual programming here you can see we've registered this so register okay so example if we want to register again what would he, what we have registered we will prompt and uh, an error so let's see okay we've not just submitted the assignment so let's submit an assignment okay maybe this is my my matrix number and then assignment assignment one choose file let's upload mine upload all right now let's see again okay we've uploaded the file so now let's uh, log out and then logging in oh sorry it's a wrong account now let's see if we can delete the file or not oh but before that uh, we will need to view here you can see um, the student submission so the student submission this is our assignment title this is the student's uh, ID this is student name and then this is the file now we can download and see all right so now let's try to delete As you can see, it can't be deleted because a student has been, um, it has, uh, student has submitted the file. So now let's create an objective quiz. Or um, maybe let's go for two, two or false quiz first. Alright, now let's add a question. So maybe what is ERD stands for entity relationship diagram now this is true save changes and now let's another one DBMS stands for for database management system all right this is also true and now maybe let's add another one my name is Masiba. this is true okay now we've added those questions and uh, we can also delete the questions if you want to. So let's try uh, updating the question first. So maybe my name is not Basiman. And let's press false. See. Okay, and then um, let's delete this question. So as you can see, it's been updated. All right. So let's uh, let's add the uh, again the question again. see all right and now let's log out let's log in back to the student now let's see 
oh okay the lecturer has added new quiz so let's uh, try to answer that quiz okay true true and true finish and then once we you can see our mark and we can't answer it anymore because we've answered uh, we have answered it already log out let's see the lecture view oh this is uh, sorry this one result here you can see the student ID the name and also the marks and this is the number of students that pass and this is the number of students that fail so the passing mark since we created the que three questions and uh, each of the question is weighted as two marks so the full marks will be six now this student scored full mark with flying colors and he passes and then now uh, let's do the same thing we might add um, in the database um, presentation PDF uh, we followed the specific instructions so let's see result so this is the specific instructions we've been added all right you can also download them and all sort of stuff and then we can resolve this is the one and then we can also view the objective quiz all right you can also uh, see the result for quiz through false so as you can see now this the full mark is 20 because we've created 10 marks for this specific subject and then so there are three pass there should be three passing students and two two failed students okay so that's true now maybe you can search for the name maybe i can search for sharifa there it pops up all right so let's go back and let's go back to where we tested so we wanted to create new uh, new so maybe what what is uh, what is x so maybe no function x equals to one or two x equals to now x equals to one sorry two. so here actually that doesn't have a function let's create new what is my name Man. let's create a new one and, and let's say we want to add how what is my this should be the correct answer now let's check um, okay but before that we can also delete and also update so for example I want to update uh, this okay I want to update this question what is the function of variable x no function maybe x equals to null changes okay now maybe I want to create new I want to demonstrate the delete function so let's just type anything 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 and the answer is should be a now let's try to delete this 
okay so it's been deleted we have also have modified by modify on we have the number of questions here and now as you can see these the inputs have been disabled this for this is only for viewing purposes only so let's go up and let me answer this multiple quiz So it should be okay. Here I want to demonstrate uh, the quiz all wrong. Okay, finish. Now you can see my mark is zero, but I can retake the quiz. Oh, but before that, let's log out and see the um, results in the lecture module. So it's in the objective quiz. So I got zero and I failed. So let's try to make me pass next view multiple answer all right so let's try to answer again x is equals to null and then a name and then 3.415 should get a school mark so six and i can't answer both so let's log out Oops, sorry. Alright. Now, objective mm, quiz. The result. And here we go. Part to six. And I passed. So let's see. Uh, as in the project uh, presentation report in PDF uh, this is what we've done result okay so um, I think this is it because I've demonstrated the delete uh, the assignment create delete open and download and also where the student uh, where the student have submitted the assignment the, the lecturer can't delete the assignment um, and I've demonstrated the create of the view I add, update or delete the quiz and the results and I've also demonstrated the uh, create, update, add or delete the true false quiz and also the results whereby the student passes or fails so I think that is it for um, this lecture module and thank you so much My name is Nisa Mitazmi, so I'll be explaining for the student module. So first of all, as you can see, this is the login module. So we just gonna insert the student username. And it will oh, choose student and it will lead to this user interface. So what student can use uh what student can do in the uh, web uh, the system is a uh, student can register subject you uh, can view register subject can view assignment submit assignment can answer quiz and see result of the quiz so firstly i'm going to show how student can register so this is the register subject list of subjects so uh, student can just click any of the subject so firstly uh, if we okay we, uh, we register this database subject and once we click here it will prompt at here it will show at here so this is the register subject that student has registered so what user can do is view assignment answer quiz answer quiz true and false and multiple choice now okay use a uh, student can answer the quiz for example here uh, it will show marks so for example if the student didn't answer or get uh, uh, wrong all the questions are wrong for example uh, see mark, uh, the marks is zero so student can retake the quiz so it will uh, the button uh, be able to click
it's clickable so then we just answer it so for example we answer false false true 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 false true false then false after we see this uh, this is the marks we get full marks so we won't be able to retake the quiz so we only can uh, we we only can take uh, retake the quiz if we have zero marks only or we haven't uh, haven't taken it yet so okay then i answer this part too okay for example we didn't answer it it will just prompt zero and then if we answer it b a a b so we get six since we have one one wrong so we just have six and then the next part is we can view assignment Okay, I'll show you for the view assignment part so we can view assignment and this is all the question or task that given by the lecturer so we have to uh, this will show we not submitted yet so we can just search if there's a lot so we can just search it will just prompt the search uh, word uh, for example, we can uh, what we can do is we can open, we can download, and we can submit. So, for example, we want to download. So, uh, then we just put it at where we want to download it, and we can also submit the assignment. So, we just click answer for tutorial one, and then we just choose file. Uh, for example, we choose this one okay and then we just upload so once we view it again see it has been uploaded so yeah I think that's all for the student for the student module so for for register we won't be able to register it twice so for example we have registered it database so if we want to register it again we, we won't be able it, it would uh, it would just from this message it has already been added so yeah that's all thank you